our honor vice chancellor professor m selvam our beloved register l ganesan and my beloved uh, professor m lakshmanan professor danish kodi and professor uh, manzu saik bahi professor uh, van strailan who is going to deliver the keynote address and the public lecture and professor renji bipulif and uh, professor soma venugopal rao professor umagan tripadi and dr jivinita i also welcome all the uh, all my colleagues from our department and our sister departments and all the participants from various part of the nation and the fa faculties first scholars and students of our department thank you i welcome you once again thank you all Thank you, sir. Professor M. Lakshmanan, Professor of Eminence, DSC Sir National Science Fair, Department of Nonlinear Dynamics, Bharathasan University, semesters in this virtual platform. He is the recipient of Shanti Swaroop Bhatnagar Award for his immense contribution to science and technology, one of the highest Indian science awards in the year 1989. He is honored with Raja Ramana Fellowship, Alexander Von Humboldt Fellowship, Royal Society you know, uh, Foundation Fellowship. He's a fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences and so many to add to his credit. Hereby request Professor M. Lakshmanan, Professor of Eminence, DST Sub National Sci Science Chair, Department of Nonlinear Dynamics, Bharathas University to deliver the presidential address and announce the Sheikh Bahe Van Stryland Outstanding Scientist Award. Respected Vice Chancellor, Professor M. Selvam, Respected Registrar Professor Ganeshan, Distinguished Professor Sheikh Baha, Professor Murganandam, Professor Danush Kodi, Dr. Sabari Grison, Distinguished Colleagues and Speakers, Dear Participants from all over the country, My dear scholars and young student friends, a very good morning to all of you. I'm indeed honored to be here this morning to deliver the presidential address in this inaugural function of this two-day national workshop on lasers and jet scan experiments being held at the School of Physics, Bharati Dasan University, Tiruchirappalli, essentially through the virtual platform. As many of you know, Tiruchirappalli is a temple city renowned for its culture and hospitality, as well as the birthplace of one of the most famous physicists of this country, Professor C.B. Raman. It would have been indeed wonderful to meet all of you in person but for this pandemic, we are meeting essentially online, except for some of the young participants who will be here to attend the hands-on training tomorrow in person. This year, the light amplification by stimulated Raman, stimulated emission of radiation, lasers, celebrates its 62nd anniversary. Human life is now intimately associated with the applications of lasers. And they have widespread use in diverse areas such as laser-aided industrial manufacturing, medical applications, fiber optics communication, meteorology, military application, and so on. In physics, the laser is playing a significant role in the form of laser matter interaction and it covers almost every branch of physics. 
in particular nonlinear optics is a study of the phenomena that arise as a consequence of the modifications of the optical properties of a material system by the presence of light the beginning of this field of nonlinear optics is often taken to be the discovery of the second harmonic generation by franken and his colleagues in 1961 shortly after the demonstration of the first working laser of mayman in 1960 nonlinear optical phenomena are nonlinear in the sense that they occur when the response of the material system to an applied optical field depends in a nonlinear manner on the strength of the optical field for example second harmonic generation occurs as a result of the part of the atomic response that scales quadratically with the strength of the applied field applied optical field considering higher up, higher order, order harmonic generation in particular the third order harmonic generation the refractive index of a material changes by an amount that is proportional to the square of the strength of the applied field applied electric field also known as the kerr effect it produces stable self localized pulses namely soliton and finds application in high bit rate transmission and optical telecommunications our team members in the school of physics bharati dasan university have also produced theoretically several interesting results in the framework of soliton based telecommunications and the associated nonlinear schrodinger family of equations there are several techniques available to measure the nonlinear optical properties of optical materials including the nonlinear refractive index and nonlinear absorption coefficient among them the zatskan experiment proposed by professor m saik bahe and professor e van strailand during the period 1980 1989 to 90 is a simple sensitive single beam method that uses the principle of spatial beam distortion to measure both the real and imaginary part of the complex nonlinear refractive index indices and their signs ever since the important breakthrough of the zatskan experiment the study of the nonlinear properties of different nonlinear optical materials has exponentially increased and also numerous scientific articles in the area of nonlinear optics and crystal growth have appeared in the literature i must really appreciate the organizers especially dr sabari grisan and his young team for their efforts to host this two day national workshop lays 2022 at bharati das university they have a very well established nano photonics laboratory following the earlier efforts of professor danush kodi there is no doubt that this two day national workshop will provide a very good platform to exchange ideas and transfer knowledge to the younger participants by the pioneers of this field and other invited speakers i wish the workshop all success the organizers of this workshop have also interested me a very pleasant duty as part of lays 22 2022 bharati dasan university its honorable vice chancellor and the faculty 
have decided to honor the services of renowned Indian scientists working in the, working in the fields of lasers, focused to the theme of the workshop by giving awards in the name of the architects of that scan experiments. I'm happy to announce that the award entitled Sheikh Bahai Van Strailan Outstanding Scientist Award goes to the two following, following two leading physicists. Professor Reggie Philip, Raman Research Institute, Bangalore, and Professor Soma Venugopal Rao, University of Hyderabad. And the citations and other details will be displayed during the course of this event. My hearty congratulations to both of you, Professor Reggie Philip and Professor Soma Venugopal Rao. And I wish you and I wish both of you continued success in all your research activities. I wish you all the best. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for giving us an overview of lasers and optics for the development of science and technology. Professor Reggie Philip is working as Professor Second Grade at Raman Research Institute, Bangalore, and heading LAMP Division. He has a wide experience of international research and is a visiting scientist at the University of Regensburg, Germany, University of Massachusetts at Boston, USA, and University of Central Florida, Orlando, USA. To his credit, he has two patents, 312 publications, one book, and two book chapters. Mm -hmm. Professor Soma Venugopal Rao is working as professor in ACHIM University of Hyderabad. He's successfully heading the ultra fast laser laboratory of uh, Akram. He's a fellow of the National Academy of Sciences India, fellow of the Royal Society of Chemistry, fellow of the Institute of Physics, fellow of the Telangana, Telangana Academy of Sciences and a recipient of the Nazi Scopus Award. He has also been recognized as one among the top 2% of scientists in the field of optics and photonics. To his credit, he has published one book, 15 book chapters and more than 350 papers in leading journals with 8,100 plus citations and H-index of 49. On behalf of Bardasan University and all participants of LACE 2022, wish the award is the best on this special occasion. Thank you, sir. I humbly invite Professor M. Selvam, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of Bardasan University to deliver the inaugural address of LACE 2022. Good morning. Most revered Professor M. Lakshmanan, Professor of Eminence, Specialist in Non-Linear Dynamics, Professor P. Muruhanandam, Professor of Physics in this university, esteemed overseas guests to deliver the keynote address, Professor Manzoor Sheikh Bahai, our registrar, Dr. L. Ganesan, the organizers of the program, Professor Dennis Cody, Professor Sabari Grison, and very importantly, the two award-winning professors. We are very happy that we could get, we could spot great people from the ocean of scientists. One, Professor uh, Reggie Philip of Raman Research Institute, Bangalore for his great contributions on theoretical 
foundations of nonlinear optics. And uh, another professor, from the University of Hyderabad. We feel very much happy for having spotted these two great professors to give away the award and we are thankful to them for having accepted this award. And all the revered invitee professors who are going to address today and tomorrow on a very vital topic, namely the workshop on lasers and Z scan experiments, LACE 2022, organized by the Nanophotonics Laboratory, Department of Physics, Bharadasan University, under the aegis of Ruzot 2.0. This inaugural function is going very happily. Uh, of course, uh, Professor Mansur Sekh Bey is uh, having a midnight session. So we are so much thankful to him for having accepted, uh, foregoing his uh, sleep perhaps. The topic, nonlinear uh, dynamics. I think Bharadas University is immensely happy to have a professor with it. Professor M. Lakshmanan is specialist in this field. I think the world uh, is nonlinear. Everything for that matter is not a straight line. It has to be somewhat uh, spherical. That's why the whole, uh, all uh, celestial bodies remain uh, uh, globe, I mean, spherical. In fact, at the tip of any le seemingly linear objective, at its end, it has to be somewhat spherical. So that way, nonlinearity is the nature of uh, the prevention. That is the globe, the universe per se. And in such a, with this knowledge is enabling us to invent things which can act in a non-linear way. And that way we have lasers and uh, Z scan experiments. Professor uh, Lakshmanan G was explaining about the nonlinear optics, especially the Z scan technique used to measure a nonlinear index N2. He, uh, he named it very aptly per nonlinearity. And this is a lot of science involved. I am not a scientific person, but right now on my screen, I have the Z scan technique. I am reading. I am trying to understand uh, with a little bit of uh, physics knowledge I have gained in my university classes. That must be very, very small, but it, the, the terms uh, are not totally foreign, but somewhat uh, known to me. So that way, uh, these are certain opportunities by which I try to get myself connected with the world of physics, the world of chemistry and sciences, from which I have perhaps departed a little miles away to into so the study of business and commerce. So this is a, a, a great uh, opportunity for me. And also all the great uh, paper presenters, uh, students, scholars, researchers, to update their knowledge. The constant updating of knowledge is very much necessary. And the updated knowledge must be converted to the skill. And the skill in using and skill in inventing tools, techniques, are all part of uh, our studies. 
university studies and the high end research based studies must ensure that the knowledge that we generate in the classroom must be converted into skill in our labs and these two together must uh, transform into uh, tools and equipment and processes so that the industry benefits and a lot of application of uh, this kind of technique is found in the medical field very much. Therefore, every researcher must uh, take a keen point, keen commitment that uh, each one is remaining committed to scale up, scale up, scale up in a changing world. That will only make us uh, relevant uh, in a fast changing world with uh, too many changes taking place in too short a time, making things um, uh, looking like uh, some of the mess, but in a mess, you should be able to find some orderliness. That's where our, uh, the pointed knowledge helps us. So I'm so happy that a program like this is being uh, hosted by uh, this university. Uh, Professor Lakshman was uh, referring to uh, Sarsivi Rahman, who had, I mean, the Trichurapalli city has its greatness to have created such a, had got blessed with such a great person. Um, with these words, I wish the function um, uh, all great success, success in terms of uh, a substantial increment to our uh, stock of knowledge and skill, intellect. Wish the function all uh, success. I once again uh, thank the awardees to have accepted the award presented to them by this great university. Thank you for the opportunity. So I take this opportunity uh, to invite Professor L. Ganeshan Dresser in charge, Bharadasi University, to felicitate the gathering. Uh, thank you, Professor. Most respected, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Baradas University, Dr. M. Selvam, sir. Most respected Professor M. Lakshmanan, Professor of Eminence, BST Serb National Science Chair, Department of Nonlinear Dynamics, Baradas University, and a great distinguished scientist, Professor from the University of New Mexico, USA, Professor Dennis Cody, sir the founder, Laser Division of uh, Department of Physics, Bharadasan University. My dear friend, uh, Dr. Uh, Muruganandam, sir, the head of the Department of Physics, and the convener, uh, Dr. D.C. Sabri learned faculty members, research scholars, students, scientists from other states and abroad. Good morning to all. It is my privilege and feel honored and it gives me immense pressure to take part in the two-day national workshop on laser and ESET can experiment with us financial support from Rosa scheme. Let me from abroad. Professor Mansoor uh, Sheikh Bahi, on behalf of the entire University of Bharadasan. And uh, let me congratulate the renowned scientist of Indian scientist, uh, Dr. Reji Phipp from Bangalore, Dr. Soma Venubal from Hyderabad for winning their uh, awards for this ex excellent uh, title of nanophonetics and uh, the laser and the z can experiment. You all are aware that the purpose of organizing this scientific program is to train the students and the research scholars in their respective research field towards international competency. The Department of Physics, Bharadasan University is actively involved in research and is one of the top contribution of this university the design of this 
national level workshop on laser and lizard can experiment is unique in the sense that it is conducted in a hybrid mode with the one day for online lecture and other day for hands on training the program is well structured with two keynote public lectures two plenary sessions two invited doc talks and four hands on training sessions i am very happy to note that all the resource persons invited are renowned scientists at the international level in the theme of this workshop the most appealing part of this workshop is that the founders of isak can experiment professor m sheikh bahir from university of mexico usa and the professor juan stellan from university of central florida in absence here or uh, i think he is going to sharing case india for first time parts of america r w wood prize and recognized as fellow of several international renowned scientists societies i also delighted to have a indian scientist and the recipients of uh, sheikh bahe van sterle outstanding scientist award professor rigibli from roman research institute bangalore and professor soma venugopal rao from university of hyderabad or internationally recognized scientists from india they have also rich international exposure and are honored as visiting scientists to international institutions and ranked as top 2 percentage of scientists in the field of optics and phonetics the program has received a great attraction which can be witnessed from the enrollment of more than 247 240 participants from 14 different states and union territories of india the organizers of this workshop nano phonetics laboratory has state of art laser facility and they are actively engaged in laser research with 100 plus publications in the peer reviewed international journals in this context professor mansoor sheikh bahe has given an excellent technical presentation on this topic though i am belongs to non science faculty i want to share little bit about the isat isat scan technology which has the advantages of simple experimental device convenient operation and high sensitivity is widely used in the study of non linear optical properties of materials however the isat scan experiment is influenced by experimental environment equipment optical parameters and other factors which will result in large differences in measurement of data and affect the calculation of three order non linear optical polarization coefficient based on this introduction of basic principles of laser research technology i honestly believe that this workshop focuses on laser research can experiments factors that influence the measurement of accuracy of research scan and put forward put forward the corresponding method of improved research scan experiment precision in this context my hearty congratulations to all the uh, participants and the appreciation to the award winners and also excellent hearty congratulations to the faculty members research scholars and the students of department of physics for organizing this excellent program i request all the participant make use of this opportunity to learn about this particular concept it's a very important uh, uh, event and important topic they have chosen make use of this opportunity to learn about both the theoretical and the tomorrow focusing on the hands on training of experimental aspect use this opportunity i request all the participants to use this opportunity Uh, once again my heartfelt thanks to the organizers of her organizers and the faculty members of the department of physics for giving this um a chance to sharing my views on this aspect thank you thank you sir 
Sir has joined in midst of a lot of academic commitments. Thank you so much, sir, for spending your valuable time with us. Next, I invite Professor S. Dhanush Kodi, former head and retired professor of Department of Physics, Bardasan University, to felicitate the gathering. That is good, sir. Now you can unmute. Hello. Yes, sir. It's audible, sir. Okay. Full present here. I am Professor Anish Kodi. First of all, I should thank you for putting this double function. Two days of in the do, 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 do you respect to all the faculty members, the vice chancellor, the registrar, Professor Mulashmunan, and the staff members of the Department of Physics? I, I have the offer, honor of offering the felicitation on this workshop. The Department of Physics, Bardas University, has a long heritage in studying the nonlinear systems. After the demonstration of Sir Harmonic Generation by Franken et al. in 1961, the nonlinear optical behavior of the materials under laser irradiation has gained much intention globally. Among the available techniques, is that kind of experiment proposed by Mansur Sheikh Bahe and E. Van Sterland is a powerful and tool meant for its simplicity and sensitivity. Laser division of the Department of Physics, Bardas University is involved in the investigation of nonlinear optical materials, uh, uh, optical properties of a wide range of materials, namely organic, inorganic, and nanomaterials for the past three decades. I go back in time 20 years back when I started the experiments with helium layer laser, 5 watt, milliwatt, helium laser, low power lasers. We are doing simple experiments like measuring of refractive index circular radius of the circular aperture and things like that during the initial stage of our laser development in the laboratory. On this application, I recall our association, association with Professor Kirja Valaban, Professor VPN Namburi, Professor Jacob Phillips of Cochin University of Science and Technology, Cochin, SK Tiwari of Raja Ramana Center, Center for Advanced Technology, Indore, and Professor P.K. Das of Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. I am also grateful to Professor Reggie Philip and Professor Soma Angler Yankopal Rao for the research collaboration we had with them. I am also grateful to Professor Reggie Philip. Now I am now the laboratory is equipped with a huge India laser with two second, third, and fourth harmonics. We are sincerely thankful to the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India, for funding the laser facilities under the DSC FIST program. On this occasion, I also thankful. I am thankful to Professor M. Lashmanan, who was the head of the department and who was giving every encouragement for every efforts I made it. Thank you, Professor Lashman sir. The laboratory now the laboratory is presently catering the needs of young researchers working in nanophotonics. I am happy to know that nanophotonics laboratory of the Department of Physics, Bharat University, has reached a milestone of hundred publications in the paper peer-reviewed, reputed international journals. I should congratulate. Dr. Sabri Irsen and his team or teammates. Layers 2022, a three day hybrid mode of RUSA 2.0 sponsored national level workshop on lasers and Z scan experiments is organized with a keynote address by Professor M. Sheikh Hab Bahe and Professor Eric Von Sailand of from USA. The plenary pre lectures will be delivered by Professor Reggie Philip of Ramar Research Institute, Bangalore. And Professor Soma Venkopal Rao from University of Hyderabad, Hyderabad. And the invited talks will be delivered by Professor Umakanta Tripadi, Indian Institute of Technology, Danpad, and Dr. G. Vinita of Velu Institute of Technology, Chennai, and as online lectures. I appreciate them, I appreciate them for their 
kind of uh, for the persons and delivering that uh, uh, lectures. The following topics will be covered: theoretical functionality foundations of nonlinear optics, nonlinear optical materials, thermodynamics, and biomedical applications. Also, hands-on training on the measurement of nonlinear absorption, thermodynamics, both the open and closed aperture, and theoretical fitting is scheduled in the Nanofotonics Laboratory, School of Physics, Baroda University. Professor Sheikh Bahe and Professor Eric von Steilam are sharing their expertise for the first time in India and delivering their talks as courtesy to the Indian optics community. My thanks and appreciation to the stalwarts. The recipients of the Sheikh Bahe, Sheikh Bahe von Steilam Outstanding Scientist Award, Professor Reggie Philip from Raman Research Institute, Bangalore, and Professor Soma Van Gopal Rao from University of Hyderabad, are undoubtedly the strongest contributors of this field. My appreciation to both the scientists for the, on this special occasion. I learned that around 250 participants, including faculty, research scholars, and postgraduate students from 14 states of India and two foreign countries are taking part in this event. My word of appreciation to the authorities of Bardas University, namely Professor, uh, the Vice Chancellor, Professor M. Selvam, the Registrar, Professor L. Ganeshan, and the, the Dr. Sabri Girison, and Muruhanandam, Head Department of Physics, and other faculty members and their students, and the organizers of the Organizing Committee for this workshop in a grand manner. I wish all the participants will have a useful time. Thank you, one and all. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, sir. Next, I cordially invite Dr. T.C. Sabar Girison to propose vote of thanks. So in the right light, at the right time, everything is extraordinary. Light tomorrow with today. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver word of thanks as convener of LACE 22, 2022 at the inaugural ceremony of this great event. So interdependence is always better than independence. The idea of organizing this workshop on lasers and research can experiment is although a decade old. The arrangement and execution of this event has happened in no matter of time. Thanks to all the distinguished guests who made this particular event globally attractive. We know all of you are busy in your schedule round the clock and you came forward to adjust your works to make this grandness possible. RUSA 2.0 sponsored national level workshop on lasers and laser scan experiment is first of its kind and it is conducted in hybrid mode with the aim to cover basic theories and avail hands-on training in lasers and laser scan experiment. It is structured to have two keynote public lectures, two plenary lectures, two invited talks, and four practical sessions. First and foremost, I express my hearty thanks to Professor M. Selvam, the Honorable Vice Chancellor of Bharadas University, for accepting our invitation and enriching the day starts with your presence and words. When I approached him, he gave us positivity and spends his valuable time to guide us for the effective execution of this event. I'm so thankful to Professor Yel Ganeshan, the Registrar of Bharajas University, who is always kind enough with us for organizing this event. While we faced many difficult times, he stood by our side to eliminate the obstacles. At event of this dimension, we like you to say, we have been fortunate to have iconic delegates of this workshop and the pioneers of research scan experiment, Professor Manshur Shakbehe from University of Mexico and Professor Yi Van Sterlin, University of Florida for sharing their expertise on insert scan technique and allowing us to use their name in the award. I dedicate my sincere thanks to Professor M. Lakshmanan, Professor of Eminence and DST Sir National Science Chair for presiding the function and honoring the awardees by making the announcement of awards. Your commitment is always boosting factor for all of us. Our special thanks for your visit yesterday to witness the arrangement of hands-on training and increase the young research scholars of nanophotonics laboratory. I, re I record my humble thanks to my mentor, Professor S. Dennis Cody, who is the founder of Laser Lab, which was developed as nanophotonics laboratory now. He gave me the opportunity to start my career and at this juncture, I thank him for making me strong and being here to felicitate the gathering. I place my word of thanks and congratulations to the recipients of Sheikh Bahir Van Sterling Outstanding Scientist Award, Professor Reggie Philip from Raman Research Institute, Bangalore, and Professor Soma Venugopal Rao from University of Hyderabad. 
it's been long time i know these great personalities they are dedicated always available with us to teach and work together for long period of time they are catering the needs of researchers working in laser field i wish them more laurels to the service they render at this juncture i also thank the resource person professor umakanta tripathi from iit danabad for coming forward to share his expertise definitely the participants will enjoy the different dimension of this experiment with his talk i thank dr vinita from bellur institute of technology chennai a great scholar and guru and a good friend of mine for being a resource person for the flexibility and support during the planning of this event my thanks to professor p murugananandam head of the department for the support rendered throughout the course of arrangement of this event i take this opportunity to thank dr s anandan from nit trichy dr n vijayan from npl delhi professor m sendilvelan from department of nonlinear dynamics baradas university professor k jagannathan from center for nano science and technology school of physics and dr ramesh babu department of physics for chairing the sessions of online lectures i also thank all the members of advisory committee for supporting us to choose and declare the made in award proposed i thank professor k tamil maran professor s rajasekhar director of research and development professor s armugam and dr l c nehru for their support and encouragement my sincere thanks to rusa 2.0 scheme for granting a seed money to initiate this workshop i thank all the helping hands and non teaching staff from bc chamber registrar secretariat guest house guest hostel office informatics center for their timely help the interest of the research community community to expertise in laser scan experiment is clearly witnessed in registration and we are happy to share that officially 303 participants have enrolled in this event a huge thanks to all the participants including faculties research scholars and post graduate students from 14 different states and union territories of the nation and two abroad countries for having faith in us and making the program really meaningful also i thank the research scholars and post graduate students of department of physics baradas university for all the support they rendered our sincere thanks to mr ashik shah tech shuttle private limited for arranging zoom for platform for conducting this workshop effectively this vote of thanks will definitely be incomplete if i do not mention the following names mr m durairaj mr m abid ms a danusha ms j kavya ms t sharmila and mr kritik raj of nano photonics laboratory whom all worked shoulder to shoulder with me and deeply thank them for organizing each and every aspects of workshop lays 2022 all the good feel you experience with this workshop is because of this dedicated team my special thanks to dr m saranan alumnus of our lab and all the post graduate students and the senior scholars of lasers and nonlinear optics laboratory department of physics baradas university before getting into the event let's all take this time to be obliged for remaining healthy and trying to be connected in this virtual space let's kick start the workshop lays 2022 with this hint of hope and gratitude thank you all